On a rainy evening, in a cozy house nestled on a quiet street, Miro the cat was as restless as the wind outside. He was a fluffy orange tabby cat with light and dark orange stripes dancing on his coat, as hypnotic as a flickering flame. His expressive green eyes were bright with an enticing mixture of mischief and delight. Miro's perky ears constantly wiggled in response to the percussive droplets drumming on the roof, and the faintest hint of a smile played across his soft pink nose. A playful glint twinkled in his eyes as he gazed at his stretched-out shadow in the flickering firelight. The proud wearer of a shiny blue collar, he was the epitome of feline grace. His long white whiskers twitched excitedly, and his soft pink pawed pads barely made a sound as he began pacing on the living room carpet. Suddenly, Miro heard a gentle tapping sound that proved to be just the rhythm he'd been seeking. The rain was falling with a delightful pitter-patter, setting a perfect tempo for an impromptu dance fiesta. Each plink and plonk seemed like a personal invitation from the heavens for Miro to embrace the music of nature and lose himself in the joy of dance. With a twitch of his long bushy tail, Miro began shuffling his pink pawed pads in sync with the rain, transforming the humble living room into a grand stage for his dance recital. The soft shaggy rug turned into swiveling dance floor under his swift swirling steps. As the raindrops played their rhythmic symphony, Miro twirled and leaped with graceful abandon, his every move a testament to his uncontained enthusiasm. Watching from his watercolor portrait on the mantelpiece was Miro's old friend, Chester, a charming black-and-white King Charles Spaniel with expressive brown eyes. Chester had been Miro's companion since kittenhood, now immortalized in vibrant colors after a long, love-filled life. His once vivid white and black fur still radiated in painted strokes, a stark contrast to the dark fireplace beneath him. His wise eyes seemed filled with kind patience. Chester, with his long droopy ears painted in mid-flutter and tail caught in a wag, was the epitome of canine friendliness. And even though he was no longer there in the flesh, his uplifting spirit lingered, filling the room with warmth and gentle inspiration, as if silently cheering Miro on. As Miro danced, he imagined Chester joining him on his living room dance floor. The cat twirled and pranced, mimicking the regal steps they once shared. With a happy roll and tumble, Miro was now enacting the playful dances that he and Chester had once choreographed on sunny afternoons. In his heart, Chester was there with him, wagging his tail and cavorting about in carefree abandon. The walls echoed with the borrowings of their past laughter, and Miro felt a pang of fondness for those golden memories. He spun harder, his green eyes sparkling with fervor and respect, his way of honoring a beloved friend. In the midst of his twirling, Miro's blue collar caught onto the string of the window blinds, and with a swift pull, the blind rolled up, revealing a timid raccoon, drenched and shivering from the rain. The raccoon was petite, with ebony black eyes shining with curiosity. It had a gray and white striped tail, a pristine white chest, and mask-like markings etched on its soft face. Seeing the raccoon through the window, Miro slid to an abrupt halt, his dance forgotten. Then, remembering Chester's lessons of kindness, Miro knew what he had to do. Miro trotted swiftly towards the door and with a nudge of his head pushed it open, inviting the trembling raccoon inside. As the timid guest entered, Miro offered a gracious bow, welcoming her to his dance. The raccoon, surprised by Miro's warm welcome, cautiously stepped in. As the warmth of the room seeped into her drenched fur, she relaxed, her eyes reflecting gratitude and bewilderment. Miro signaled to her to join his dance by performing an enchanting swirl that ended with an encouraging paw gesture. The raccoon hesitated, then took a small step forward, beginning her journey from being a cautious observer to an eager participant. And so, under Miro's patient guidance, the raccoon learned to dance. They swirled and twirled, mimicking the rhythm of the rain. Feet and paws tap-tapped in harmony, painting invisible patterns on the soft carpet. The day had started with Miro dancing alone, but now he had found a new dance partner in the shy little raccoon. They spun and jumped gleefully, the glow from the fire painting a dancing veil of shadow and light on their bodies. Under Chester's still gaze, and to the rhythm of the rain, the two danced, their happy whirls and twirls defying the downpour outside. It was an intimate celebration of an unusual friendship, born in a cozy living room on a rainy night. 
As the night deepened, the rain gradually eased, and Miro ended the dance with a graceful leap that would have made any ballet dancer proud. The raccoon attempted a shy twirl, earning a friendly head bump from Miro. With a sense of satisfaction, they collapsed on the rug, exhausted but happy. The room now echoed not just with memories of Chester, but also with the new friendship that had been formed that evening. Miro, always the gracious host, led the raccoon to a cozy corner where she could dry off and rest. His pink nose twitched with contentment, his tail swaying gently in the warmth of the room. As morning dawned and golden sunlight filtered through the rain-washed windows, the raccoon, dry and comfortable, woke up and gave Miro a grateful look. With a newfound spring in her step, she bade farewell and left, leaving behind a piece of her heart. Miro watched her go, a sense of joyous accomplishment resonating within his fluffy orange chest. He had not only made a new friend, but also honored Chester's teachings by sharing warmth and kindness. As he turned to retire for the day, one last glance towards Chester's painting, he felt warmth spread through him, a scent of old times, a lingering memory of love and companionship, a lesson of kindness and the heartwarming rhythm of the rain dance.